Hey guys, it's me. Um, I have two other videos to put up today. Um, but I got a subscription box. These guys, oh my god, I cannot talk, like, how great these guys are. I ordered it on the 24th, and they said they shipped out the, um, on the 4th. They said that it was, um, it was shipped. Today is the 6th, and I got it, and this is, um, Candy Club. Um, it's $25.99 a month, and that's, like, with shipping. And then you, it comes like this. Oops, it's heavy. It comes like this to your door. Um, you get a discount code on their site for through, like, sponsors. I'm not sponsored. I had to pay for this. So, I used the discount code, and I got it for, like, $19.99. But I already opened it just to take out the little thingy my jiggers um and like it is you get at least three pounds yeah each candy shipment includes a carefully curated selection of the most popular premium candies from timeless classics to contemporary favorites packed into three of our signature containers up to three pounds this one's like two pounds i believe Yeah, it doesn't say. But it came from Indiana. So, priority mail two days. And it came in here in two days. Usually it doesn't wait, but it doesn't. Oh, four, four pounds. That fucker is four pounds. That is. Um, there's that one that tells. This one is, um, this is February's box, if I didn't already say that. So March's box I'm gonna get up in the middle of them. Um the premier go away. Uh, the premier candy of the month club is delighted to partner with Butterfield to bring you this month's special bonus treat. Butterfield's peach buds. Or Frills hard candy I stutter when I read, so just bear with me. Have been disappearing from candy jars since nineteen twenty four. Their signature peach bud flavor is as popular today as it was back in the Roaring Twenties. I've never heard of this. Like, I've heard of it, like, when people have done, like, the unboxings for their candy club box. But other than that, I've never heard of it. Um, this delicious combination of fresh peach nectar and sublime coconut is a match made in Paradise Heaven. If you enjoyed peach buds, don't miss Butterfield's other delectable flavors, including lemon, candy lime, honey bell, old-fashioned holiday, and the newest flavor, cherry. You get 10% off. And I'm, I'm doing like another one. It's not like an unboxing. Oh my god, just go away. It's like candy from a different country. And I got it from Wegmans. And this like tells what's in it. And then like the nutrition facts. And I don't really care about the nutrition facts. The one that has the most sugar is the jelly beans. And I don't. So I'm just going to pick in there and, like, pull it out and then go from the card. I'm just going to do, like, the little bag first that I bought myself because um, there's, like, three things. Pocky. Fucking love it. It's just biscuits and chocolate. I mean, actually, I've been nibbling on these, but, like, they're almost gone. So that's what it looks like. Bye, bomb. I'm getting um, a couple of shipments next week. So I'm getting Munch Pack, and that has from, like, all over in Japan Crate has stuff from Japanese, so, like, it'll have this stuff like this and Pocky in it. This is koala crackers. So, like, those, pan um, those panda ones, but they're koalas, and they're delicious. And then this, I think these are Irish, I believe, and they're, like, little, they're supposed to be gummies, but they're, like, hard as shit. But they're hard, but they're, like, gummy. And you can, like, see, they're, like, they're kind of squishy, but they're, like, hard. I'm not going to eat the lemon, because I don't like lemon, but I tried, like, the brown one. Like, the flavors are... Oh, get back in there. Okay. The flavors are grape, apple, black currant, strawberry, lime, orange, and lemon. And I think I had the apple or the black currant. But it smelled like... They smell like they have spice in them, but they're not. I mean, six minutes, six minutes. And then I tried um, a German chocolate Milky Way. Oh, tastes like piss. Okay, well, here's the box. There's stuff in there, so, like, I'm not, well, obviously, there's stuff in there, but I really like loose stuff, so I don't want it to fall everywhere. 
that's just a pain in the ass to open, but that's what it looks like. I'm gonna try to show you. Oh shit, okay. Like I'm sitting in bed because I'm lazy. I just came back from the sportsman show. That's where I got this from. I love camel and I love like baseball tees, so the huge stuff. I'm just gonna pull out the freaking these thingies, the peach buds. They look like old people candy, I'll give you that. They look like old people candy. Eleven grams of sugar. It doesn't say on here, but yeah, there's that. Next are these things. Um, these are hard because they're they've been outside for a little bit. These are sweet salt water taffy. Salt sweet sweet candy company is one of the oldest. Family-owned and operated companies in the United States founded in 1892, Holy Balls, and offering its iconic saltwater taffy since 1910. Instead of using the traditional Eastern Shore method of pulling taffy, sweet taffy is whipped to perfection. The result is amazing, soft, non-sticky, non-sticky, and deliciously flavored treat. Warning: Small objects like hard and soft candy can invert and become lodged in the throat. Not suitable for small children. Well, that means I can't eat it. And then it has like little uh, hashtags on the bottom. What flavor is it? Oh, cotton candy. Taffy. Serving size, seven pieces. Serving for container, four. Oh, fuck you, seven. I'm going to try it, even though I don't like cotton candy. I mean, it smells like cotton candy, but I think that's what it looks like. I'm going to keep that there just in case I need it. I thought it was cotton candy. I was going to my dad and his girlfriend. Oh, girl. These thingies. Oh, my lord. These containers are so cute. Like, I can use these for, because they're plastic. Like, they're, like, the squishable. You can see, like, the, but they're, like, the squishable plastic with, like, the metal. I can use these for, like, my makeup thingy. These look delicious. These are kind of the thing. They like move as one. These are Sour Power Wild Shells. Wild Cherry Belts. Sour Power's exciting new flavor of Wild Cherry Ugh. is sure to thrill your senses with lip smacking tart cherry tang. i put that there. And every bite. Oh, Jesus. Since 1985, candy lovers of all ages have not been able to get enough of Sour Power's widely popular mouth-watering Sour Belt. I don't have any. Like, you can see, like, the indent. Oh, you can't see. But there's, there's, like, an indent from where the things are, because they have, like, the cardboard. They're, like, the... How do I open this damn thing? I have a knife here somewhere. Where are the leaves? AKA a cork, a little wine thingy. Oh, you just pop it off like a, like the little sour stuff is getting everywhere. That's what they look like. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. That is sour. Probably because I haven't had anything sour in like a really long ass time. So it's sour to me. But I've got a couple of these. Um, well, look at. They are cake with the sour. They definitely are cherry. And of course, rum and pears are underneath my blanket. Like, you got food, mama? It's like a food monkey, but you ain't having any. I'm gonna take this out and use this as garbage. I don't want to over my bed. Fuck, I need to put anything on. Rummy, you can't have any. I gotta get in the bathroom. I'm gonna try one of these. 
Butterfield peach bud thingy. Oh, they're from North Carolina. Copper kettles. Oh, copper kettles. Roman, lay down. Oh shit. You cut it in like powder comes from. Oh, they smell like those peach rings. Now if they would have included those, I would have been, <laughs> I would have been a happy fat ass. That's why I like love these boxes. Like I'm getting my munch pack next week and my Japan crate. I'm not getting until next month. So that's what they look like. They look really gross. I don't taste the coconut. Sugar, corn syrup, coconut, citrus acid, natural flavors, and artificial flavors. Gluten free. I taste the coconut now. No bum. If I can't, like, eat it, eat it. These are where it doesn't go well with Dr. Pepper. Mm. Next. Oh, these look so cute. These are Haribo Gummy Techno Bears. I love those. Um, I think Har I know Haribo used to make them. I don't know if they still make them. Those little raspberries, those black and red ones. A new twist on classic gummy bears with vibrant shiny colors and fruity flavors of cherry, sour raspberry, and apple. They sure become a new favorite. Oh, dud. Oh, like, I went to Wegmans, and I've never been in there before, and they have an international, and I was, like, a fat kid with, like, tons with, like, cake everywhere. Like, I just want everything. I'm going to try the pink one. It's cold. And this is apple. But it ain't cherry. And it's not raspberry. They're hard. Because they've been sitting outside for a while. Tastes more like lemon. Sorry if I chew weird. I have a tongue ball. And like I have a tongue ring and gummies get stuck on it. These have 11 grams of sugar per 11 pieces. Yeah. These um, have 25 grams of sugar per 5 pieces. These are 11 grams per 3 pieces. The taffy is... Or 23 grams per seven pieces, and then the last thing is, oh, these are adorable. I love like bright color things because I'm weird. These are Gimbal's Sour Gourmet Jelly Beans, located in San Francisco. Gimbal has been delivering smiles and fine candy since 1898. Their mouth-watering sour gourmet jelly beans are made with real fruit ju juice and 12 unique ears of both sour flavors, including blueberry, pomegranate, grapefruit, cherry, apple, mango, strawberry, lime, grape, lemon, tangerine, and watermelon. Ooh, mango. I love mango. I hope I get a mango one, but I'm not... Gummy, like, uh, jelly beans are like, eh, with me, like, they're hitting a miss. I only like the red ones. Like, of the normal ones, I only like the red ones and the pink ones. All the rest are like, don't go leathers. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna eat the purple ones, I suppose. And then, for, thir a serving size is 36 pieces. There's nine servings in here. So it's 26 grams of sugar per 36 pieces. I can only leave like 40 and then I'm like, okay, I'm done. Like I have these. And like those are the flavors that I like. The orange ones are just because there's nothing else to be. The big ones, like the eggs, those are like malt balls. Let's get out my trusty little wine thingy-majiggers. 
They smell first. Yep, they smell like they smell like jelly bellies. I've never had a jelly belly in my life. I used to work at Top Floor and it was a smell. <laughs> they smell like. Okay, um. Let's try. Green must be. Lime. Red must be. Strawberry or cherry. And bustle off. It was like a weird, it tastes like smoke. That's scary. They're not really sour, but they have like a little kick to them. But they're really good. Oh, that was the red one. Let's try the pink one. Pink one must be strawberry. Nope. Grapefruit? What's that taste like? I have like a familiar taste and I can't remember. I'm gonna eat it again because I can't remember. It tastes like another candy, and I can't remember what it was. Oh, blue. This one's my favorite color. Blue. I don't know what this one is. Blueberry? I would hope so. Blueberry. Eh, not bad. Not so easily before I eat the whole damn thing. But yeah, blueberries I eat. I want to know what that one. Mm. But it tasted like something I've had before. And I can't for the life of me remember what it was. But it's a pop well, it tastes like a popular candy. But there's that. Um I'm happiest as hell. Um I definitely will keep this service. Um I'm gonna check that one's on my site as far because it's candy about from like all over the world and stuff. So there's that. Um I'm thinking about older candy. They're so good. Oh. And I'm going to the movies this week on so I'm gonna put those in like Ziploc bags and I'm gonna carry them into the movies because I'm not paying like four bucks for a small drink. I'm gonna like bring my own food because I'm cheap. So until next time. Bye, guys.